and in today's blog I want to talk about baseline happiness. I was working with a client of mine just some days ago and she was talking about all the improvements in her life and yet as a coach we were talking about there was still like a feeling of negative energy around her and it was really obviously confusing to find out that after improvements in the general aspects of her life and her job and relationship and that there wasn't the kind of euphoric happiness that we were hoping for and of course it reminded me and we started talking about that famous experiment which some of you may have heard in 1978 where they studied uh, both a group of lottery winners who won millions of dollars and people who had accidents and became paraplegic and if you don't if you aren't familiar with the story the upshot of the story is that whilst of course there was euphoria for the the people who won the lottery and then depression for the people who suffered a terrible accident over time their baseline happiness the the, the general happiness that they had uh, year to year gradually returned back to a, around about the same levels as it was before the accident and before the win. In other words, over about a year it took uh, for, for people to, to gradually get used to their new condition and come back to a similar type of happiness that, that they had before. And so this idea of that each person has a baseline happiness. And um, in fact, we could say really that uh, we are all on sort of two journeys. The one journey is kind of the roller coaster journey up and down of trying to win at life, whether it's winning at business, winning at relationships, winning at social or sport or whatever, which leads to those euphoric highs of, yes, I've done it. And then we, which we spend literally 95% of our life chasing most of us. And then there's the other journey, which is how do we raise that baseline of happiness? How do we relate? How do we raise up our general level of happiness so that even in bad uh, circumstances, our happiness remains relatively high or we can come back to a general level of happiness and so how do we enjoy the normal things in life like going out for a walk having a cup of tea you know chatting with friends or whatever and i believe and this is only my own internal uh, opinion is that in order to achieve a increase in that baseline of happiness you do have to step beyond what we normally chase for in life and start to look at the spiritual things in life, which is obviously why I'm such an avid meditator. How to get those thought patterns changing so that you always become a little bit more optimistic and your, your thoughts are calmer and happier. And it involves uh, an increase of compassion and love for people as well as an increase in calming of the mind but over and above this it involves a whole uh, changing of the way you perceive life and the way you perceive your mission or your vision of life is so people who become happier often have find their purpose in life and therefore they have a vision and they are enacting what they want and they're going with direction in life and it's usually towards a better life not only for themselves but for our others and that really is a type of spiritual journey whether it involves classical religion or whether it's your own spiritual journey so that's my opinion i'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the matter how do we raise this baseline of happiness uh, so feel free to comment below or write to me. All the best for this week.